The 2013 navigation season opened at Lock 3 today when Captain John Carlson received the historic top hat. Oh, it's a great honor, and uh, on behalf of the crew and, and myself, that's, uh, it, it's a, a great honor to be part of this ceremony. How much work goes into being a captain on the ship? Uh, it's, uh, you're managing a, a, a plant and everything from personnel to cargo to international relations. It's all part of the job. The St. Lawrence Seaway Corporation is in the process Welcome of the a major investment to the, the canal. 50, Over the next five season. years, they will be spending $230 million dollars on infrastructure and maintenance. Canal, and 2013, uh, we believe, will be a 2% improvement, a, a slight improvement over uh, 2012. Um, we think that that's conservative and that, that we have an opportunity to probably uh, exceed 40 million tons. What does this top hat ceremony mean to you? Well, to me, it's it's the start of the season. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's good news, and and it just reinforces the importance of the marine mode and uh, and what it offers in terms of energy efficiency and uh, and, and a lower uh, carbon footprint. The start of the shipping season also means an increase in activity at the St. Catharines Museum. The museum and Welland Canal Center is open every single day of the year except for Good Friday, um, Christmas Day and Boxing Day and New Year's Day. Um, otherwise we're open every day, 9 to 5. People can come and see the ships throughout the shipping season, but you can also access ship times through the city's website, uh, stcatharines.ca, through our Twitter feed at STC Museum and on our Facebook uh, as well. We tweet the ship times and have the ship times on Facebook every day so people can check them and uh, be updated as to what's happening and show up when a ship is here. Plain English, that means the top hat was first presented in 1947 and has become a Niagara tradition. For us it's a rite of spring and I think a lot of people measure the, the beginning of spring by the opening of the canal and, uh, and also just a chance to meet with a lot of the local people and celebrate what this industry means to St. Catharines. You mentioned the jobs and the economy. What impact does the St. the Welland Canal and the St. Lawrence Seaway have on jobs and the economy? Well, for St. Catharines Niagara, the impact is huge. It's it's literally hundreds of jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars of uh, of uh, investment in our communities, respectively. So, um, it's the 213th anniversary. It's pretty hard to imagine. It's been certainly one of the oldest traditions in in Canada. But also, when you think of the significance over that 213 years, it really is pretty difficult to measure. It's immeasurable, and uh, we're very grateful for the canal and for all of the uh, the companies that invest and employ people that uh, that keep our local economies thriving. The SS Cuyahoga became the first upward-bound vessel of 2013, and gave Niagara residents the reminder of how much the Welland Canal impacts the economy. Reporting for the Source, I'm Mark Chofie.